Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm going to take a closer look at the Harley Benton TE20. This guitar. And the TE stands for Telecaster, of course. That's what this is, a Telecaster model. It's one, if not the uh, cheapest uh, solid body electric guitar that Hormann sells. That is a full size electric guitar. Might be some that's even cheaper, but yeah, it's very, very affordable. And I'll get back to that. Let's start with materials and hardware. And, and at the top, we have proper, good, working tuners. They are really good. I haven't, I actually have nothing bad to say about them. They stay in tune and they do the job. I'm really surprised. Uh, we have a maple neck and a rosewood uh, fretboard. And uh, where do you save money to make guitars this cheap? Well, for instance, since it's made out of wood, this inconsistent material that everyone insists on having their guitars made of, uh, this is a rather, uh, probably, possibly a bad piece of wood. It has all these uh, imperfections and it might affect actually the playability of the guitar, uh, at least in the long term. You don't notice it now. So that's one of the ways to save money, of course. Um, but it's a satin finished neck and it's a rather chunky one. I get back to that in the playability. We have rosewood for the fretboard. Uh, Tahali Benton are steering away from rosewood. Uh, which is a good thing, of course, in every, every thinkable aspect. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are probably, they probably have a million of these lying in their warehouse. They have to sell these before they get the new ones. We have these uh, medium jumbo frets and uh, yeah. I'll get back to them as well. Uh, otherwise, it's the neck is nice and tidy. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see this even. Uh, this isn't really in the middle. It's slightly to the high strings. But that's the only thing that you notice that's sticking out or making it different from any other guitar neck. It's, yeah, feels very good. We have a basswood body. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not super light. It's uh, reassuringly heavy. It's not super heavy either. So yeah, a good balance. And it's not a string through body design. And you might like that or hate that. I, I don't know. I think that could be a good thing actually. Not drilling a lot of holes in your guitar. Um, with a one ply super white uh, pickguard and of course two single coil pickups. Uh, traditional Telecaster uh, bridge with um, two, uh, uh, two strings per saddle, so it's impossible to intonate. But yeah. If you play rock or blues, that shouldn't be a problem. And the regular stuff, three-way switch, uh, volume tone, and a solid metal housing for the output jack. How about that? Really nice. You don't find that on Squires, for instance. So yeah, materials and hardware gets a seven. Uh, build quality durability and uh, it's really hard actually to find something bad even in that respect. Uh, the only thing I've noticed are the frets. I don't know if you can hear this. They aren't polished on the top of them but they are seated really well into the fretboard and I mean there are no fret, sharp fret ends anywhere and the neck feels really nice. The finish on this guitar is much better than the higher priced Harley Bentons. It's very smooth, it's very nice, and it's I can't find anything bad about it. Um, 
the neck is probably secured to the body and uh, I don't know so besides the non-polished frets and uh, I don't know if you play this guitar for a while well you're gonna wear down the frets a bit anyway so who needs polishing build quality durability I give it a nine it's that good not even for the price <laughs> it's that good Playability. Well, we have the Telecaster, and uh, there are some design flaws with the Telecaster. For instance, this thing here. I mean, I don't know how you play, but I play like this. <laughs> and then you're gonna bump into this every single time, and uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But that's the way a Telecaster is supposed to look like and is designed, so... It's probably hard for Harley Benton to um, steer away from that design. Uh, and of course this, the way the Bolton neck is secured to the body and all this, this area is, yeah. There's a lot of wood hindering you from getting up to the high frets. So I can imagine, I mean I have proper man hands, but uh, if you have shorter fingers I yeah you, they, this would be a problem it's such a bulky thing here and the neck I forgot to mention that uh, it's not super slim it's supposed to be a modern C I don't know I'll say it's a vintage something it's a, yeah it's a solid neck all right the fretboard, according to Torman, is a 14-inch radius fretboard, which should be f completely flat. I don't know if that's true. I'd say it's a 12-inch radius, maybe, because you could, can definitely see that's an arch to it. So, But the neck plays, plays great. Um, I really have to say that. Uh, if you're not having problems with it being kind of thick, but I don't. I really like this neck. It plays great. But the Telecaster problems still gives it a 7 for playability. Not so much for this guitar, it's more the Telecaster design by default. Electronics, yeah, we have two single coil pickups and uh, they're pretty good. I don't know, we'll see when I get to the sounds. Uh, the 3 way switch. Yeah, solid, uh, the volume works as it should, and the tone knob, of course, of course, doesn't work as it should, as always, uh, you get, I don't know if you can give a sound example of this, so... <laughs> That's the tone at full, it's the, uh, the tone knob at zero. <laughs> So it's completely muddy and in the middle. Sounds exactly as if it was completely on 10. So, no, it doesn't work. Simple as that. Uh, so that gives us a 7 for electronics. Everything else is... Yeah, it works. So now it's time for sounds. I'm gonna start with a clean sound, go through the different pickup combinations from bridge to middle to neck and yeah, you'll get to hear it basically. Here we go. <laughs>
Yeah, and you could probably hear me there when I played something cordy up the neck. Well, the intonation doesn't work, so that's what you get when you have this. Three-piece saddle. Okay, let's try some overdrive. See what that does with these pickups and this guitar. <laughs> Finally, some uh, high gain, and uh, I've added a bit of delay. <laughs> For those kind of sounds, it gets an 8. Uh, I think it really sounds like a Telecaster. And they have captured that sound really well. And um, yeah, I mean, for the price, it's crazy. I think they sound really good. Of course, they are noisy. They are single coil pickups. They are, um, yeah, again, by default. It's, again, the design of the Telecaster more than this guitar. Uh, but they are doing a really good job at mimicking a Telecaster, so uh, yeah. Finally, value 10. Uh, this guitar is crazy cheap. It costs very little money. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to, for me. Actually, it's hard to find flaws even. I mean, I'm not making this review based on its price and it's like oh I'm being nice because it's so cheap but it's a really good guitar I can't say anything else so at this price it's crazy you should buy one if you want to tell the cost style guitar I really think so so all in all it gets an 8.0 and uh, yeah that's very high for being me 
Uh, it's a very good guitar, and uh, if you get to start on one of these, well, you get a good start. It's not like the guitar I started on, I can tell you that. And if you can live with the Telecaster flaws, the bulky thing here, the three-piece bridge, well, you can, of course, exchange the bridge. Uh, then you're probably, yeah, you probably like this guitar. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the Harley Benton TE20 guitar. I hope you found this useful and interesting. See you soon. Bye.